it's a jumble of systems. It's a bit like, a, I suppose, a puzzle. And uh, there's no instruction manual. There really isn't even a box with a photo to, to work it out. I'm Ronald Newell. I'm an electrical engineer at Takamak Energy. We are in 120E, and this is basically where all the power supplies for the coils around SD40 live. This is the first power supply that we've just received a week ago, and as you can tell, we're still very much in the process of, of installing it, doing the, the electrical installation. There's a huge kit of, of cables of all kinds that need to interconnect the various panels to charge the capacitors, to control them. This particular power supply here will connect to the toroidal fetal coil. And this is by far the largest power supply of I think the six or seven that we'll be, be installing for SD40. This power supply actually stores a huge amount of energy. Each of these panels are filled with massive capacitors that can basically be charged up extremely quickly and generate this massive pulse. My understanding is that initially it'll operate for couple of hundred milliseconds and you need a power supply that can generate a pulse very quickly, a massive amount of energy in a, in a fraction of a second and that's what this power supply can do. My job day to day at this stage is to look after the design of the electrical installation. For example, one of the challenges that we have here is that our main supply to these units is not big enough to charge up these power supplies. So if you imagine that when we're finished and all the power supplies are delivered, we'll have basically two levels this size filled with cabinets, filled with capacitors. And so we've had to buy in a diesel generator set uh, to provide us enough power to charge up the power supplies. And uh, the idea is they need to be charged up within about 20 minutes or so. The electrical system is part of every system, whether it's these power supplies that are driving the coils to generate the magnetic fields, to the operating of the vacuum pumps, cryogenic systems, the system that generates the, the puff of hydrogen, all those sorts of things. You know, the, the electrical system sort of permeates through all of them. And so one thing that you know, I'm really enjoying is that I'm getting to learn about all these different systems and, and need to have some sort of understanding of, of how they all work. I'm quite relishing the, 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 the challenge of getting this very complex system connected together and, and operating.